Whoa, whoa. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. If you gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Why, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Sure, you'll see. Real civilized. Let's go. All right. You know the way? Yeah. Me and the boys got into a bit of a fight at the saloon there. <laughs> Already? Oh, so all that talk about how hard you've been working. You mean drinking? <laughs> So welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you so much for joining me. Really do appreciate it. Um, so last time we went bear hunting with Hosea. Oh yeah, now we're just having a bit of a sing song on the way to Valentine. Beauty. Uh, so when we're a bit nearer, we will see you there. So we're just pulling into Valentine. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we'll just park it up and see what we're going to get up to. There's always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Jesus, mate, you want to get out of the way? Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes, we can get up to some mischief here, all right. <laughs> just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. <laughs> Let's park up down the end there, near the stable. Here we are, just like I said, cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. So it's good to uh, be seeing Uncle. Uh, obviously, he was so in the first Red Dead yourself, Redemption. Is it a maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the One Shot Kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. <laughs> you are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me desperately. <laughs> You're yeah, my it's good to um, sort of see what. Uncle no. saw the story before Red he was in Red Dead Redemption. Parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. <laughs> Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. Right, so we're going into Walmart. So, what do you need? Drop a whiskey for a start. Well, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Yeah. That guy should probably steer clear of the saloon this time. You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Right, well, let's do that. The catalog, here One on the dollar counter. isn't bad. Whiskey's on the top shelf. Here's the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Right, that wasn't too bad. Uncle's starting hey, early. Your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. <laughs> Gentlemen. Two days later. I think I got something good. What? what? I 
I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Diné and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. We're still in care. I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They had been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. I think there is gonna be. There's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Go sort him out, Arthur. Someone's having a go with Tilly. Get off me! Get off of me! Get your hands off her! Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch! Hey! Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake. Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Right, so he seems to know her. Huh? Mary Beth, they're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Right, so Tilly's okay now. But uh, I'm gonna go and try and find uh, Mary Beth. Look after her. I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Well, right, let's go and see what's like happening. What you heard. Can I help you, sir? Yeah. Right, so we've got to search the hotel. So she's going to be in a room somewhere, isn't she? Sir? No trouble now, please! Well, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. <laughs> Wrong room. <laughs> this sounds like the one. A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Oh, I've got, I've got my nothing. block on the uh, go now. Think you two can stop? You think you're tough? Beauty. What the hell are you doing here? Let's loot him in his vest. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You oh, we sure? Got, we got 33 yeah. cents. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just. Men, but stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but hope, uh, this is a livestock the town. There? There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Right, well, so she got a bit of info on the bank. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Oh, me? God. No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get. Oh, Jesus. I don't right. like this. Let's go and get him. Go get the girls home. I hope this horse is fast. Friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Right, we need to oh, catch this fella. Just on it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Right, so we don't want this guy tipping out the authorities off of where we are. Oh god, this horse is slow as hell. So where's he gone? Ah, oh, there he is. Right, let's get him. What the bloody... Oh, God, where's he gone? I didn't mean nothing by it. Honest. He's gone over the edge of the cliff. Ah, uh, let's question him. Why are you telling lies about me? No, 
No, I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, <laughs> yes, me too. Now please pull me up, please. I'm begging you. What should we do? I think we'll help him. He's a good man, Arthur. All right. Come on. He's got a nice suit on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. What a mess. Well, <laughs> you're nearly dead. Dead. Yeah. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Hmm. That's very kind of you. Beauty. But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old mind. I don't think Jimmy Brooks is going to be a problem anymore. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. You too, Jimmy Brooks. Right, okay. So that was our little trip into Valentine. And uh, I think it's a day Jimmy Brooks won't uh, forget in a while. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like what you saw in the video and you would consider subscribing, that'd be absolutely bonza. But uh, until the next one, stay safe and take it easy.